Hello everybody, this is Tech Hut. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to run a benchmark for your graphics card. Now, this is a free piece of software. This is the most popular free software to use to get benchmarks. You might be familiar with this one right here. This is the 2009 version, but they've since added Superposition, which is more relevant to modern graphics cards, and it also has some VR benchmarking if you are interested in that. This is supported by Windows and Linux, and there are some sister requirements. The file that you're going to be downloading is actually fairly large, so, so it downloads quickly. I would recommend you use a Tor client like I did here. Seeding, let's not do that. But getting right into it, what you're going to want to do is go up. You could either click the free download. It's 1.2 gigabytes. If you hit this little arrow, you could download it via a torrent, so it will be fairly quicker. Once it's done, you could go ahead and show it in the folder, and it is right here. As you can see, I had the other one installed, and we're going to run this one. Now, you can run both of them. This one has a little bit more outdated graphics, but it will still run a pretty good test of your graphics card. Close all this out and we are going to install it. So it's pretty simple, just like any other application. Next, next. Uh, we'll go with all that. Next, next, install. And it is, like I said, it's a fairly large file, so this might take a minute depending on your hard drive or SSD or whatever you may be using. And it is just about wrapping up. So when it's done, we're just going to keep this checked so we can launch it. And here it is. We are going to be testing the graphics card at 1080p extreme now I do have kind of a budget graphics card in here it is a GeForce GTX 1650 super so you can see down here it has VRAM I have four gigs on this card so it does kind of tell you how much it's going to be using for the test for example if I went down to 4k optimized it's going to be using six gigs out of my four so I should not do that let's just keep it at 1080p extreme DirectX is fine I'm going to keep all that how it is. You could go under, and there are more options, but those come at a cost. VR ready, you can run VR tests, but we are not going to be doing that for now. You could run a test with a little more extra settings, so you could go over here, go to custom, and turn off and on texture, shaders, v-sync, motion blur. You can do it however you want. For now, I'm just going to go to benchmark. For this video, since I am running a screen recorder, what we're going to do is I'm going to go to 1080p medium just so I know it can handle this and the screen recorder at the same time. Because like I said, this is not the best graphics card in the world. So let's go ahead and fire it up. I may fast forward it a little bit just to get it over with, but we'll see what it looks like. So that wraps that up. You can see here that these are the settings you originally selected right here. Shows the test that you ran. This is a score that it gives you so you can compare your results online if you'd like to. And right below that it gives you all the data from the test such as the min, average, and max frames per second including the temperatures and the utilization. Below that you'll have your computer's configuration and you can save this if you'd like to. So that about that wraps that up. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave them down below in the comments. Like this video if you do. Subscribe, ring that bell. Have a great day, and goodbye.